Hello, hello. Today is lesson is on mini chat, and I'm going to be teaching you how to build sequences from flows. So what we're going to do to start out with is we're going to go over to automation and we're going to look at some sequences. So the purpose of these flows that I'm going to have you build is to allow people to get our free download or lead magnet and then be taken through the informational sequence. So this is what one of our standard sequences looks like. So this is for Windows. So we've got our Windows intro. This is just a tip about reasons why you might need new Windows. Our second message is going to be about the specs of your Windows. So what are the types of Windows that you're going to be able to choose from? What are some other specs of the windows that you need to know? So all of this stuff is about windows, but our download comes later in the sequence. And so the purpose of doing these sequences is to be able to create our growth tools for our website. So for instance, this windows sequence, I would put this sidebar pop-up growth tool on our website on any of the pages that mention Windows. And so they'll have the opportunity to get their free Windows ebook sent straight to Messenger. We'll also ask them, just like we do here, if they want this sent to their email so that they can enter our email sequence for Windows. So what we need to do is, is create these sequences with these download messages as the first step and then we'll have the other messages to follow. So I've already done this for Windows and I've turned it into the Windows ebook sequence. So it's a very similar sequence, but it's set up differently. The ebook download is the first one. Then we've got Windows styles. So we've got very much the same thing, but it's just set up differently. So I am going to show you how to do another one. I think we'll do, we'll do kitchen. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at the flows. And flows are a series of messages um, that are grouped together. So we'll take a look at some of them. We're going to look into the kitchen folder. So these are the messages regarding kitchen. So let's take a look at the budgeting intro. So this is a flow. This is my message with my buttons and the messages and the flows that are linked to it. So if they click on more than five years, they're going to get this message. If they click on less than five years, they're going to get this message. And if they want to contact us, this is actually a flow that I've attached to this flow. So anything with a green square with the arrow, that's going to be a flow. So design appointment, that's also a flow. And the reason that flows are awesome is because you can create them and then you can link them um, throughout any of the other messages, sequences, or flows that you create so you're not having to constantly recreate the same content. So here is how you're going to create a sequence using flows. And I'm gonna have you do this for two different, two different ways but we're gonna start off with this way first. So we're gonna say this is called the kitchen remodel checklist. I think I may have already started one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a few messages in here. And so what you can do is you can replace these messages with your flows. So our initial message um, is always going to be immediately. And we're going to save and update that. The second thing I'm going to do is on this second message, I'm going to do send between 8 a.m. and 3 o'clock p.m. Um, what that's going to do is allow all these further messages to not be sent past 3 o'clock p.m. so it's not disrupting them when they're at home with their family. Um, I don't know if everyone cares about that, but I have heard that some people do, and so I think it's just a good way to go. So what we're going to do on our first message is we're going to select an existing reply. That's going to bring me to my flows. 
So since I've categorized everything already, I should be able to click on kitchen drip remodel checklist budgeting. This might be it. Oh no. So backtrack a little bit. Sometimes you're going to need to duplicate your flows and then edit them because when you edit a flow, it's going to edit every single message that is it that it's attached to. So you don't ever want to edit the flow directly. So the reason that I would need a separate budgeting part one for my kitchen remodel checklist is because it has this intro in here. You know, can't wait to serve you up with my best kitchen renovation strategies over the next week. There's a ton of info so it's easier to digest that way. So we don't need that because this is gonna become the second message. And so what I've done is I just clicked on this and I've duplicated it and then I've renamed it with remodel checklist budgeting because this is the flow that, or this is the sequence that it's gonna be going in. The rest of the messages should be fine because they're not gonna have that initial intro content into it. So we are going to take a look and see if I have the kitchen remodel checklist in here already. And I don't. So I'm gonna show you how to create this initial message and then use the other flows to build your sequence. So we're gonna to go to automation, sequences. We're gonna go kitchen remodel checklist. This is one that I made the other day. So I'm just gonna show this one from the very beginning. Okay, so we're going to create a new reply. So typically, when somebody enters this sequence, it's either through our main menu on our message, which is going to tell them how they can unsubscribe, or through an ad, which we're also going to tell them how to unsubscribe. So we don't need to do that in this initial message. We can just say something like, I'm so glad you wanted our kitchen remodel checklist. This can be a huge project with so many moving parts. So this guide will make it much easier for you. Here you go. It's great practice to add emojis whenever possible. The down arrows and the down finger pointing are really good because especially with Messenger, people need some guidance. So I'm telling them here that it's gonna be coming down below. You've got your delay button which is gonna make it seem very human because if a human was typing or sending something, it would have the delay, but we're not gonna use it for the download because I'm not typing anything. So to give them my kitchen remodel checklist, I'm gonna click on file. I'm gonna go over to my Google Drive. I'm going to get my white papers and eBooks folder. And then I've got my kitchen remodel checklist. So now I'm going to go to my direct link creator, which is just going to give me, actually, I don't need to do that. I'm going to download it because I'm just going to link the file. So download that here. I'm going to go back to mini chat. I'm going to just drag my file right there and it's going to attach. So then I'm going to type. So I'm going to add a delay and I'm going to do the user input field because I'm going to be asking them if they want this sent to their email also. So whenever you do that, you have to use a user input field. So I'm going to say, do you want me to send this? Or actually, I'm just going to say, if you want me to send this to your email also, just type in your address and I'll shoot it right over. Okay, so 
this free keyboard input is going to ask me what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an email address. So if it's an incorrect address, it's going to ask them to enter a correct one. It's going to also give them the option to skip that if they get in there and they, they don't want to do that. So then we're going to have save responses to a custom field. And this is important because this is going to add it to your audience member, which you want to know. So we're going to add it to the email field. Lastly, on the action, we need to add a tag. And the reason that we're adding a tag is, first of all, I want to tag them as kitchen. Second of all, the tag that I add is going to trigger in Zapier my email that's going to send this guide to their email. So this is going to be kitchen remodel checklist. Okay, so I didn't have a tag for it, so I've just created that tag. So I'm then going to show you how to set up the Zapier integration. But that's basically all that you do for this first message. So let's see, I can't tag anybody on there. What I could do, and what I probably should have done, and we're going to do that right now, is I'm going to make them click this button in order to get the checklist. Okay, so we're going to delete what we just did. It's not a big deal because it took two minutes. Okay, so we're going to say, get my, what is going on? My space bar isn't working. Okay, not sure what's going on. Get my checklist. Then I'm going to look for a little emoji. We're going to look for the check mark emoji. Boom. Okay. So then we're going to send them a message. And we're also going to add a tag, which is kitchen. Because you can't tag them unless they make an action. And if somebody's coming to this through our website, then I want to know what they're interested in. Okay. So adding the tag of kitchen and we're sending them a message. So this is the message that they're sent. I always name my messages because it just makes it way easier. So we're going to call it kitchen remodel checklist. Okay, so we're going to say, I'm not even going to say anything. We're just going to give it to them. Drag our kitchen remodel checklist over. We're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to do a delay and a user input and say, if you want me to okay then we're gonna select email our custom field is email and then we're gonna add that tag kitchen remodel checklist and so since I've added it it's now on the list okay so then we're going to publish it. So now in our in our flow, we've got to change this message to kitchen remodel checklist. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. So we can do this one of two ways. We can create the sequence that takes them through uh, messages for a week, or we could try and create a flow that gives them all of the information on demand. We are going to do that, but for right now, we're going to do it as a weekly sequence. So now I'm going to select existing, so I don't need to create something new. Since I already duplicated my first message and took that intro out of it, I can just select kitchen remodel checklist budgeting. So now it goes and gives them some more great information on kitchen remodeling. Then I'm going to 